بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از دا شاٹک نار لک دا شاٹک نار وتھ دا روٹ ویلیو آف ایل فور فائیو ایس ون ٹو تھری روٹ ویلیو از ایل فور فائیو ایس ون ٹو تھری وینٹل ریمائی نوٹ لک اٹ اوور ہیئر پلیس لک This is the sacrum and this is the number 4 and number 5 vertebra. Look from the ventral remi of the L4 and L5, one trunk is formed that is called a lumbosacral trunk. It descends downward and it unites with the ventral remi of S1, S2 and S3 and in this way one big nerve is being formed which is shortic nerve by L4, 5, S1, 2 and 3 and lying anterior to the periphermous muscle and then and then this nerve when formed inside the pelvis it comes out of the pelvis through the greater shortic notch and usually it comes out from the greater shortic notch by passing inferior to the periphermous muscle. And then you look, it lies over here on the deep muscles of the gluteal region and then it enters into the hamstring compartment of the thigh. And then at the apex of the papital fossa, one hand breadth above the papital fossa, it divides into its two terminal branches the tibial nerve and the common peroneal or the common fibular nerve sometimes the two components of the sciatic nerve separate from one another inside the pelvis if this is the condition then what will happen then the common peroneal nerve comes out of the pelvis by passing through the periphermus while the tibial component it comes out of the pelvis by passing along the lower border of the periphermus. If there is low division, then the shatic nerve come out from below the periphermus. And look, this is the biggest nerve in the body and also the longest nerve in the sense that the branches of the shatic nerve supplies the whole of the leg and the foot till the toes. It is because of the same reason the pain of the shatika which start over here in the gluteal region and descend the back of the thigh and then back of the leg almost to the toes the pain of the shatika will go there. Note this is the biggest nerve and the total mass of the nerve 80% is the connective tissue while 20% is the nerve fibers and it is being enclosed in the connective tissue membrane which is called as epineurum. And this shiatic nerve is having its own small small nerve supplies which are called as nervi, nervorum that's, that lies in the, the cutaneous tissue in the, the connective tissue of the nerve and supplies the connective tissue. And then Along the whole of the shatic nerve, there is one companion artery, one artery that accompanies the shatic nerve throughout its course, make it close. This is the inferior gluteal artery, and this small artery, thin artery, if it is clear, that is the branch of the inferior gluteal artery that accompanies the shatic nerve and supplies the shatic nerve. In old very books, this artery was named as Arteria shatica sciaticas, a branch of inferior gluteal artery. Now, this sciatic nerve, it is motor as well as sensory. The motor, it supplies all of the hamstring muscles, that is semitendinosus, semimembranous, biceps femoris, and the hamstring part of adductor magnus. And then, note the point, all the muscles of the leg, anterior, posterior, and lateral compartment, and all the muscles of the foot 
and it also supplies sensory supply to whole of the foot and then to the anterior lateral side of the the leg and then the also the posterior lateral side of the leg as well the middle side of the leg is not supplied because it is supplied by the saphenous nerve a branch of the femoral nerve this is the supply of the sciatic nerve and in the course and relation of the sciatic nerve we discuss in the next lecture thank you